I'm guessing it was around 97, 98. I had a friend named Shelly, and I was hanging out with her, and she dabbled in the Wiccan magic. I did try it, and she had put a round mirror on top of a black cloth with a black candle in the center and read from a book. I don't remember what she said. It was kind of a, I think, Latin. Um, and then the flame turned blue and went all the way down the side of the candle and out. And that's when I looked at her and I told her, I said, I'm done playing with you. I don't want to play anymore. Because um, it really did scare me. I didn't understand why that had happened. We're here in a location here in Indianapolis where a homeowner with uh, some children contacted us. She's uh, been experienced stuff her pretty much her whole life. So we're going to uh, try to figure out what's bothering her and her kids. Is there somebody in here with me? Do that. It sounds like footsteps out there in the hallway, don't it? Right behind me. Like in the hallway here. How long have you been following Michelle? Mm -hmm. Everything keeps coming from right behind me. That moment in my life that I started noticing black shadows, uh, voices, always feeling like something's kind of weighing down on top of me. She even noticed things in the house when I would visit her, like noises, uh, shadows going up and down the hall. When I'd leave, it wouldn't be there anymore. My mother even started hearing and seeing things when I was there. Dishes would be pulled out and laid upside down on the floor. Uh, my knickknacks would be turned the other way. Uh, my doors would open by themselves. Does this have anything to do with what Michelle did when she was a child? Did you hear that? Yeah. Does this have anything to do with what Michelle did when she was a child? I didn't hear that sound. Yeah. So <gasps> the hell is that? Every house I've ever lived in everywhere I've lived, no matter where it's been. It might be quiet for the first few days, maybe the first week there's nothing going on, um, but then things will start happening. Uh, you'll hear people talking that's not there, or you'll see black shadows walking down the hall. Are you in the room with Josh? You're not scared to do anything to the children. Show yourself to us. She saw physically that door open. It closed and it go into my bedroom. When it turned around, it like it had eye holes that looked like you could reach in forever. Are you the one following Michelle? Did you attach yourself after she did the seance? Are you knocking on the walls? Give us two knocks if that's you. Are you attached to Michelle? Someone's right behind me. If there are any spirits inside this house right now, we call on you to come forward and make yourself known. Do something right now to validate that you're in here. That was on the wall. It sounded like somebody tried to open the front door.
We've seen little boy, like a little boy. He looked very angry. He was about the size of my 10 year old. And when he would look at us, it was his head was always down, his eyes would always be fixed up and his arms were curled back. Uh, my husband seen it more than I did. Did you just set our device off? Oh. Hold on, hold on, listen. My husband has seen quite a few black shadows since we've been here. It's, to me, has gotten worse. Um, I see the black shadows more often. So this is your last chance to put up a fight. Don't be a coward, do something. You've been scaring this family and you're scaring these kids. Tonight, that nightmare is gonna end. Do you understand us? We call on you to come forward and make yourself known right now. My kids have woke me up. Uh, this was a few months back. Uh, told me there was somebody in the house. I couldn't get him up, so I thought, well, I'll just go on and get up. It's probably nothing. Um, and I had to walk to the bathroom, and my kids had walked towards the entrance of the hall and stopped, and that's when I was looking like, what is that in the recliner? I thought it was my husband sitting there. I was half with it, and I just kept looking, and, and both my boys had those little flashlights, and they shined it on it and said, Mom, and you seen it zip up the ceiling and go this away towards that part of the wall, and they both looked at me and he's like, Mom, Mom, I said, turn the hallway light on, get back, get back in here. Okay, we've got a device here that picks up on energy. We're gonna do a sweep through the house. That way we can tell where you're hiding. Right here. Right here. Is that you? Are you moving around because you're afraid of us? You know who we are and what we can do to you? Is that your problem? Any spirits inside this house, come forth and make yourself known. When I come back out of the kitchen, it was standing right there in front of me and I just was like, do I run? Do I move back? Do I stay? I was so petrified. Are you trying to make yourself known now? There's a voice. Mm -hmm. Something was walking right behind you. Jonathan had come home and he was showing Jimmy the pencil game. And they said it was fake, but I watched the pencils start spinning on their own when I started binding it up in the name of Jesus because it kept saying that it wouldn't let them leave the game. And then it kept spinning around, and I slapped the pencils off the table because I got a little frightened. But I keep finding broken pencils, and they're swearing to God that they're not doing it. Wadded up paper, burnt pieces of paper. I had just woke up, and I was looking around, and there was like this black mist floating across the kitchen floor, and all of a sudden my daughter shot straight up, pointed at it, and started screaming, and I'm trying to put her hand down. I'm like, Emily, Emily. So I pick her up, and I was so scared, you know, I'm by myself. I walk over to turn the TV on, and I'm, I'd put my hand on the Holy Bible. I'm telling you, that was the worst sound I had ever heard in my life. It sounded like a child being murdered. It was crying so heavily behind me, and I thought, is that my son? It was right up behind my head and my daughter's screaming and hitting my back and as soon as the TV like flicked on it moved back behind my son. Let her to hold on. Is that a growl? Yeah. Is that like sound like something hissed? Did you just hiss at us? Listen so far we've been pretty nice. You need to do something right now because we're about ready to make you leave. Woo! What the hell was that? 
Oh, something awesome. just like scratching the walls and hit that, my that's side. That's what they, the, the boy it hit me was right in the about. side. I, t- I heard it. That's what the boy was talking about. Right here. Whoa. What the hell was that? Whoa. What the hell was that? Then we kept on hearing noises like this and scratching noises like this all through it at the same time. Did you just touch me? Do it again. That hit me hard. Where the hell did it go? This thing's a freaking coward. It ain't gonna do shit. Then get up here and we'll let you stand there with it. No, I mean, it went, listen. It goes like this. I know, it goes, I heard it scratch right down the wall. And then hit so, me. Let me, then, let me go in the bedroom here and then I'll film you again. Who are you and what do you want? Behind me in the kitchen. Come on, you coward. Are we pissing you off? Because when you pick on kids, you piss us off. Can you touch me again, please? Roll light on my shoulder, two taps. See if you get touched right there. Well, I'm standing right here. No, just, just back up. I'm right in front of you. It's time to do something. Because we're going to be making you leave real soon. Come on, you scratch on things or touch Josh. Well, if you do something to me. Are you scared of me? You hear that? Oh, it's, it's back whoa, 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 whoa. No. I think it's coming, like you said, it's coming from the No, it was in there. It sounded like it was coming from in there, that one. The other few knocks was back there behind me. Tell me your name. Well, guess what? I'm going to leave this bathroom. I'm going to get the stuff that's going to make you leave. Unless you stop me. And I don't think you can. You think it opened? Maybe that's what opened. That hey, it would sound like much. a scratching sound, though. Well, I know. It was real loud. But I don't think it was open, either. Yeah, I don't that's think not it. A... Well, no, but I don't think this was open. I don't remember that being open. Hey, do What's this? These just closes? Yeah. Let's go in there. Right there. After going back and reviewing the video footage from earlier in the investigation, you can clearly see that the closet door was partially open. Try in here. How old are you? Stop asking questions for a second. Yeah, let's just stand, you normally stand right there and just see if you hear anything. God, my 
back. It's just right after something hit me over there. Mm -hmm. It just I keep getting this sharp pain in my back. Or it's like right here. After it hit you? Yeah, but it hit me here. But I keep getting like a sharp stabbing pain. Well, that's pretty sharp. Maybe it scratched you. No, it's not a scratch. It's a bruise. No, I'm serious. You could have a scratch or a burn. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Where at? Right here. Hey. What? It's back here again. Oh. You hear it? Mm hmm. Did you see the camera just flicker? Mm hmm. Touch me. Go towards it. Don't walk away from it. Can you tell me your name? What do you want with this family? Did you hear a door open? Why'd you touch me? Something's messing with the camera, Josh. Mm-hmm. I seen your lights flash. Huh? I seen your lights flash. Okay, you two go out there. Let me stay. No, go all the way out there, okay? okay. Show yourself to me. And I really hate it. I really do. Um, because my kids are experiencing it. They're scared to sleep in their own room. Can we come in? Yeah. I woke up and there was something standing like right like where he is. It was standing there looking at me. Yeah, his hands were right behind his back. They did come out to bless the house and say prayers, and they said that the atmosphere and the presence was too strong. It was, it was demonic. He really did think I was dead. Maybe I had passed on because I looked really bad. And he said when he come around the corner, there was a, a dark hooded shadow standing over the top of me. And my dad said all he knew what to do is rebuke you in the name of Jesus. She had levitated like something that just, you know, she flew in there. I heard three steps to be specific three steps. Got up out of my chair, peeked in here, and she was behind my chair. But that, that just, I don't know what kind of look she had on her face staring right at this corner, right past me. It looked like she, she looked through me, and uh, it just really freaked me out. Like I told her, if, if that wasn't my wife, I'd have been gone. There has been a lot of murders and stuff. Was it a gunshot? Please defend us as we enter into battle and be our protection against all things wicked and evil. Couldn't even walk outside without being gunned down. By the sign of the sacred cross. People get shot, killed. There's like three people that died over there. And I told you, I'm not playing with you anymore. I don't want to play anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we command you to leave this area. Lord, we just ask you please watch over this family and keep them safe and just guard them from any negative or evil spirits. We just ask that whatever was attached to Michelle, drive that away so that this family can finally live in peace.
Turn right on East 10th Street. 0.5 miles. We turn now to more breaking news as police investigate on the northwest side at an apartment complex. Police have canvassed this apartment complex talking to potential witnesses. This call was also came in as a possible shooting. We spoke to several residents who said that they did hear gunshots.